Hey guys, Ole Anderson here from the Berkshire, Massachusetts Treasure Hunter. Uh, we're actually on the way to buy some calls. I uh, found a place on Craigslist, and of course we have all this virus going on right now, so it's going to be uh, what you see is what you get. He has it packed and ready for me. I give him the money, and I get the package. So that's what it is. I guess he showed me pictures. Like I said, I found him on Craigslist. It's about an hour from me, Westfield, Massachusetts. Um, so I'll show you when I come back. Uh, some are going, a few are going in this one, but the rest, most of them are going in this tank. So, yeah, we are on our way, me and my daughter, and I'll show you when I come back, do an unboxing. Bye. This is some of the calls. Uh, I got like 30 or 40 more in a bag, in a cooler. These wouldn't fit. I didn't know I would get that many. Um, here's right here is a bubble tip. I hope it's not too early for it, but we'll give it a try. Uh, I can't really see all well, this mushroom here. Uh, we'll see when we get home. I'll do the unboxing. So yeah, I got a ton of call. It was cheap. I'll get back to you. Oh, it's bumpy here. So, but I like this bubble tip. That's going to be cool if it will survive. Uh, it says you should wait about six months when you set the tank up. Mine has been three, four, but I got a lot of coralline algae growing and the alkalinity is finally perfect. So, we're going to try it, but I'll get back to you when I do the unboxing at home. Later. Hey again. So, we are back from our little expedition to go get some calls. Uh, it was a little bit different experience, but a good experience. Um, as we all know with this virus thing going on, you can't just expect to walk into people's houses. This guy I bought calls from, Brian is his name. Uh, he sells out of his house, so I don't blame him that he wants to be safe. So he was advertising on Craigslist. That's how you can find him. Well, I'll give you some other few uh, addresses you can find him on the email, I mean, on the internet. Uh, but I found him on Craigslist, Western Mass. I wrote in calls and up he popped. I live in Western Mass. I have about an hour, hour and a half to the nearest local uh, store that sells calls. I mean, I got Petco, but they don't sell calls. So, well, they do a little bit, but they're not worth much and they're too expensive. So I find I found Brian on uh, Craigslist and I contacted him and I said, hey, are you still in business because of this current situation? He's like, yes. I said, well, for us both to be safe, can I get you to gather a pack for me and I'll come and pick it up? And he's like, well, why don't I send you some pictures and you can choose? So he did, and he has an awesome selection. Uh, like I said, I'm only going for soft calls. Uh, I got to fill two tanks. I won't mention for how much I bought, but boy, did I get a lot of calls for not a lot of money, actually. I'll say it's probably half price, almost half price to the stores I see online, so yeah. And if you can help him out by buying some calls, why not? Um, he has an address online, thecallfarm.com. You can go check that out. He's on um, on Craigslist, Western Mass, uh, you just type in calls and you'll see him. 
if you live in the Western Mass or Connecticut, even New York. Well, I don't know if you're from New York, you can leave. But if you leave, if you live within a couple hours from here, from from Westfield, Mass, it's well worth it. He also got a page. Uh, what you see is what you get. So w y s i w y g dot h t m l. You can look him up there. So there's a few options. He got all kind of pictures. What I did, I said, make me a package for a certain amount. He's like, sure, I'll send you some pictures. See what you said. So now he is actually open. Uh, what you see is what you get. Page, so you can choose and go pick it up. When I was about four miles from Westfield, this exit three on the ninety highway. I-90, um, I just texted him, he's like, okay, I'll back it up. I pulled up to his house, I said, I'm here. He met me by the front door, I had my cooler, I put it in the cooler, gave him the money, and that was pretty much it. There's one thing, though, he will let you see his calls and do your own selection, but you got to wear a mask. And I don't blame him there. I would say wear a mask, or you got to wear a mask, that's his stipulation. But I would say wear gloves too. And he'll probably let you see his calls, but why not do the what you see is what you get? It's kind of like Christmas. You don't know what you get, what you get to see from the pictures. And I know I got a good deal. So they're big frags too. It's not like the tiny frags you sometimes get for a ton of money. Um, the one. I hadn't picked out when I got there. I was like, uh, do you got any bubble tips? And my tank is kind of too young, probably for bubble tips right now. So I was like, well, do you got any bubble tips? And he's like, sure. And I got a pretty good specimen for $30. I mean, that's a pretty big frack. So, and that's probably about half price. So, yeah. But uh, I'll do an unboxing. And if you think this here is all of it, you're totally mistaken. Look. Completely full to the brim with calls. So yeah, we got quite the unboxing to go through. Uh, it's going in this tank. Some of them I was next gonna put some in, but the bubble tip is going in there. I'm growing coralline algae, so alkalinity and calcium is perfect. So, and we have, to, I have the same salinity as he has, 0 0.25, 26, so we're good. And the rest is going over there. I have most of it going over there. So let's start the show, I guess. So here, of course, they're closed, so it looks like a sewer of some sort. It could be a pally, and I know it's hard to see. Um, and here's the waving hand. Yes, I got the next senior waving hand. I know they can spread like crazy, but I think it's pretty cool. And of course, the bubble tip. And, oops, this one is upside down. Oh, um, mushroom. So, yeah. There's actually two of them. Oh, no, maybe only one. But it's a big one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure. I think it's the same as this. I don't remember all the names. I asked for soft calls and I got soft calls. Uh, so yeah, let me take a little bit of a break here while I get some of the other up. Hold on. Here we got a letter call. It could be a Kenya tree or it could be a green letter. I, asked for a green letter but uh, I mean I said I wanted soft call so it could be I think it's Kenya tree 
for. Uh, I asked for a green letter, so see if it's in there, or ask if he had one, so. Hold on, we'll get to the next one. I think these are the green pallies. I mean, look how many it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's at least 15. The frag is huge. That's cool. And we got up. Uh, mushrooms. See, I don't mind them and they spread a lot. They're cool, I think. Uh, they're red. Red or brown. So, I think they're a bit red in them. So, another huge frag. So, that's another thing. You get some huge frags. I mean, it's all more, well, not the size of my fist, but pretty close. So. Um. I think this is a letter call of some sort. I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can get the camera to zoom in better. It's hard to say. It could be, uh, yeah, it's a letter of some sort. Here is a torch. Oh, no, a hammer. Hammer call. I mean, look, it got one, three heads. So, pretty big, too. That's cool. Yeah, it's a hammer. Here we got, uh, it's hard to see. I think it's another sewer. Maybe it's hard to see. I think it's a sewer of some sort. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see what it is. No, it's not a sewer, it's something else. South Call. I uh, see some pink in there. So, yeah, another big frag. Here we got, this is definitely sewers. Or pallies, one or the other. So, yeah, oh, it's upside down, so look at that. They're growing on both sides. That's cool. Another big frag. Here we got uh, another sewer. Sewer. Another big frag, I think you got, let's see, six or seven heads. So, here we got a torch. No, that's a, yeah, a torch. One big head, so that's cool. So my nose is a bit stuffy. And no, it's not the corona. I got an allergy. I always get allergy bad this time of year. I mean, look at all these. This is hard to say what this is. Looking pretty cool. Because uh, when they all close up, all soft calls, it could be, I think that's a pally, definitely. So, yeah, pretty close. Cool, I mean. And we got... Uh, I think that's the next scene here. Two of some sort. Uh, long tentacles. Pretty cool. Can't wait to see this one. See, I'm not so good with names. To me, it's calls. <laughs> uh, except it's all soft calls. I ask for soft calls. Except for the uh, the bubble chip is probably the one that's going to be hardest to take care of. Uh, look at this big frag here. See if I can get get it in the picture. There might actually be two in here. Uh, 
Oh, a bunch of, I think it's a bunch of mushrooms. And then there's something up here, or the frag has just grown. Could be two frags, it could be one. Yeah, it's a mushroom. There you go. Most of it, well, it's got me too many calls for the little tank. Uh, here's a cool one. A green mushroom. And yeah, I know they were spread, but that's the whole purpose. So, this one over here has been grow, uh, curing for bit over a month with the light off uh, and it doesn't have so strong light it has a 30 watt uh, aquanite about 60 bucks online so that tank is about as cheap as it gets and the last one uh, I think it's another pally of some sort I will see when they all open up but definitely very cool. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, one, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty calls. So, now you remember all the ones I had in this tank, they all died. They were well over six or seven hundred dollars. There's well a lot more money here. Uh, but I didn't pay that much, nearly that much. So yeah, I recommend you go in and visit uh, his page. And I'll, hold on, I'll get right back and I'll bring it up again so I can tell you. I'll also put it in the description. Hold on, I'll be right back. We're back, so yeah, his name is Brian Hall. He live in Westfield, Mass. He sells out of his own house. Uh, I know sometimes it can be difficult to trade or buy stuff on Craigslist. You kind of be careful. This guy is pretty awesome, down to earth dude. Um, and he sells out of his house. And if you can drum up some business, it's cool. You know, I mean, these times, this is my, well, not by far my stimulus check. I'm going to stimulate my fish tank, uh, a portion of it. And like I said, his name is Brian Hall. You can go into Craigslist, Western Mass type in calls and he will be there. There's also one in North Adams. I don't know how he is. Uh, Brian by far had the biggest selection of pictures and stuff you could look from. So, uh, so the callfarm.com and what you see is what you get dot HTML W I W Y S I W Y G. So what you see is what you get dot html he if you go to his house and want to see the calls you gotta wear a mask i would wear gloves too just so you both can be safe um i did a curb pickup you can call it i guess i contacted him i said hey make me a pack for you can call him say make me a pack for this amount and he will I contacted him when I was pretty close to his house. Easy to find. Um, took five, ten minutes. Of course, we talked a little from a safe distance from each other. And uh, I'm definitely going back. And if I want other calls, he has all kind of different. He just don't have soft calls. He has a huge selection. Uh, yeah, I would love someday to go see what he actually got in person but right now that's the way I prefer and probably he prefers too. I wouldn't want to have people too many people come into my house these times. But like I said, if you gotta do it you gotta wear a mask and I would probably wear gloves too. So I got twenty calls and I'm over excited. I know it's soft calls but I don't mind as long as I got some life in my aquarium. Hopefully, when my bubble tip gets bigger, my clownfish will take to it. I guess we shall see. 
can you see the Xenia is already pulsing? I, I find it one of the most fascinating calls. It's so cool. So yeah, let me start to get this in the water. That's also why I had to stop at the local dollar store on the way home, get some super glue gel. Don't go buy online, buy fancy super glue for calls. This is all what it is. Works just fine. And then dollar for two, so you can't beat that. So yeah, I'll get back to you. Go visit Brian on Craigslist or those pages I just gave you. See what he got. I will get back to you when I get the calls in later. So this is pretty much call mania. Uh, I think this one is a letter too, actually. Tallies. So yeah. So I'm liking the light coming out. Uh, we got some over here too, a couple. That's the bubble tip. Uh, he's not going in this thing though, but the same temperature, so they're going to acclimate for another 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it was warm in the car on the way home, so it was only an hour's ride. I got a lot of uh, core line and crusting on all this, so that's good. So yeah, I'll get back to you. Should I dip these? I probably should. Will I? Probably not. I don't have any dip right now, so I'm okay. I mean, they're all growing in his tank, so all look healthy. I will get back to you. So, before we unpacking again, some of these will take over the tank if you're not careful. The pallies definitely will. Uh, some of the mushrooms will. Uh, I think the red ones actually will. Probably the green one too. Uh, I am not familiar with the name on this one. Of course the sewer as well. Bubble tip can go crazy too. So you gotta get your spacing in between. The leather looks like it could get it pretty big too. Now the Xenia waving hand which I Probably consider the most crazy call. Uh, it will definitely spread, and I would suggest you put that on a rock by itself, so it can't spread to the other rocks. So you will have Xenia out the yin yang. Cool description, huh? Xenia out the yin yang, but you will, and it can take over your whole tank. So. Uh, that's why over here, this rock down here is going to be the new Xenia home. Uh, bubble tips can get very big too. So make sure you make some distance. Uh, and also with the bubble tip, watch out with your power heads. I had a, an, an enemy before and then I come home and my tank looked like gel. Three or four years ago, it went to the power head and it wasn't a pretty sight. So if you could, you should get cover for your power head. This one here, I think is so small that it won't go to it. Uh, the other one, I gotta do something. I might not turn it on right now, the power head in the big tank, because it's going in that. But yeah, be careful with your enemies. So yeah, I will get back. For the Xenia, Waving hand is going to be the first one. Uh, I know my finger goes across the camera every once in a while. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so what I do, I just pour the water out. See if I can get the coal out. And it went upside down, which is fine. Don't be too rough. So you got it like that. You got the super glue and you're giving it a dab. Hold on, let me give it a dab and I'll get back to you. So you give it a good dab, super glue. 
take it over to the tank and put it on its little island. Don't touch the super glue like I just did. Just when you get it all over. And it's in its new home. So you can see there's current in there. And hopefully that'll be the perfect spot. If not, we're moving it later. But let's see how it do. On to the next one. And what I actually will do, I'll keep, keep all these cups. And when I get, if I go next time, I'll bring all the cups back to them. Because I'm sure it's a bit of a pain to get. And he can reuse them, so gotta reuse stuff. So if he wants them back, I'll bring them back next time. Later. So the next ones is these, this is uh, the Pallies. And I know they grow extremely fast. And they almost come on their own island, so I might just place them like that in the sand. We'll see, I guess. Let me, I don't even think I need super glue for these. Let me unbox them or unpack them and we put them in the tank. You gotta be careful with pallies, they have neotoxin in them. So be careful. Uh, I've heard people boil their rocks and got sick because they had pallies on them. Don't boil your rocks. Um, so yeah, let's see where we can put it in there. I'll be right back when I put it in. What I will try and do with these is gently guide them out of the back and hopefully it won't fall and hurt too much. Oh, I went one. There we go, land right on top of it. So you can see the, bat, the rock is nice and purple. So let me just get rid of this bag and we will try and place it. The stuff you can see that's floating around is super glue. So yeah, we'll take this little guy. As you can see, it's the same color, so I don't mind. There's a little one here. See if we can get him out of there without touching him too much. We'll put that right here. So yeah, I think that's going to be their new home. And they'll go this way up here like crazy. So that's their new home. On to the next one. The next one I think is another pally. Uh, it has some of the green. I gotta see what this is here. If it's algae, I'll scrape that off. Yeah, we we'll put that in. Hold on. So yeah, they can stay without water for probably quite a while. Don't let them dry out. So as you see, I'll scrape some of this algae off if I can. It's okay, there's not that much. Uh, is this a critter or is it algae? Uh, let's see. What are you? Uh, might be a critter, so he's going to get scraped off. Hold on. It's just algae. So see how they have this long stem on the plug? I normally cut those off, so let me find my cutters. I'll be right back can do is just cut the stem and you've got a flat, flat disc it's all up to you you can find a hole it can go into so I'll get a dab of super glue on that and put it in the tank hold on so here's the dab of super glue remember don't touch them I'll try not to anyway <laughs> it's not like gonna die but don't touch them too much he is gonna go down here right here so, it could be sewers too, I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. On to the next one. So, the next one is the bubble tip. And 
Now, he got a long stem too. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna glue him in or what. I'll probably cut the stem off, but he might not like where I put him, so. But I'll definitely cut the stem off, so hold on. Same tactic, empty the water, get him out in the lid. So here he is. A little dab of super glue. We're probably gonna glue him down. As you see, he's on a crusted on a rock here, I think. So yeah, let's put some super glue on the rock and in the tank. He's going in the big tank. Hold on. Now the beauty with this super glue, it comes off fairly easy on the water. So I think he's going to go over here. That's going to be his home for right now. Uh, see if I can get the super glue to hold. Might check back and see if he's glued down good. The power head is right here. It's off right now. He's under the the light. They need some more light uh, in the 150, 350 power range. So. I got two AI Prime on this tank, so hopefully he's going to like it there. He's going to like the flow too. On to the next one. Next one is this guy. I don't know the name of this. Looks pretty cool though. Uh, so I'm not quite sure of the light requirement, but he's just going in a small tank. So same procedure empty the glass, get him in the lid, super glue and put him in the tank. I'll be right back when I put him in the tank. So I'm not quite sure of the placement of him. Uh, let's see. I think we should put him in. No, actually we're gonna go over here. See how he likes it there. And like I said, you can always move them. So, I think this is definitely a uh, sewer. You can see the green eye. Uh, and here's the waving hands. I don't know if I have too much pressure or not. I mean, too much water flow, I don't think so. I mean, I hardly have any. <laughs> so yeah, let's Go on with the other ones and see what we can do. I don't know where I should put this big ladder. Probably over here, I guess, in the corner. Uh, he's a big one, so we'll probably put, he might go in the other tank, actually. So I'll be right back. I think it's what you call a cabbage ladder. So, yeah, I gotta drop him in the tank. I don't think I can drop him in the, because he's big, so I'll get some super glue. But I'll pick him back up after I drop him in the tank and put some super glue on him and then place him. I don't know if he should go in the big tank or the small tank. I think he's going in the small tank. Hold on. So I decided to put him in the little tank. Um, I just don't know where yet. I think we're gonna place him over here. That should be good. You can have fun over there in the corner. So, yeah, he's gonna get big. This is senior, starting to pulse. Pal is already like where we're gonna spread to. I might have to move them, uh, we'll see. I'll get back. Next up is the green mushroom. And I know they can spread like crazy if they're happy. So let's do the same procedure. Uh, I can't remember if it's them. There's some of them you can't take out of water, I guess. I'm not sure with this one, so let's get the plug off and decide where we want him. I'll get right back. Mushrooms will move. 
was not really a real mushroom. But I don't know the Latin name, so they will move if they can get away with it. So I think for right now, I'm gonna place them right here. See if I can get the super glue to hold. And if he wants to spread, he can spread. It's not too close to the pallies because they're gonna go up this way and probably up that way. So they can be quite aggressive. So hopefully he likes it there. If not, he will definitely move. So I think I'm gonna put the red one right next to him. So we have a little bit of color contrast. So let's get on with the red one. Okay. A little red or golden guy is going in. It can be placed right here. A little bit of color contrast. Like I said, if they don't like it there, they'll move. So. So, so far so good. Uh, let's see what we got next. It's not as much room in this tank as I thought there was going to be. Uh, so some of it has to go in the other tank. I'll get right back to you. Here we got another letter. Uh, it's hard to see. He is axis on this block, as you can see. So we're going to cut the stem off and find a good spot for him. Hold on. So he has a nice angle. So we got to figure out where we want to put him. He's going to get potentially big too. So uh, I think we're going to put him here. Hopefully he will be happy. That way he can spread down that way and out both ways. So I know I'm missing a little bit of photos with the camera, but that's how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, so far so good. I don't know how many more I'm going to put in here. A few more. I'll get back to you. So this one here, I'm actually not sure what it is. Uh, could be some sort of pally. Uh, got a lot of heads, so I think I'm going to put that in a little one too. Hold on. I'll put some glue on him and we'll put him in. So where should we put him? That's the question. Uh, let's try him right here for now. See what he does. So, right there in the middle. I'm going to turn him a little bit. There we go. I don't know if this is the hammer or not. I can't know. It's not a hammer. So, we'll see what comes out of it, I guess. On to the next one. Actually, here's the hammer, or the torch, no, it's the hammer. They got all belong heads, green, so let's get him in the big tank. I think he's going in the big tank, see what happens. And I got the right spot for him. Hopefully he'll be happy there. On to the next one. So here's the torch, I think. What could be the hammer. I don't know the difference between the, well, I think the hammer was the other one because it's green. So I think this one is the torch. I think there's two heads. So yeah, let's get him out. He's going to go in the little tank. Right here. No, actually he was staying loyalty. So let's put him over here. Can 
can't have too much coal warfare going on. I might move that power head up a bit. But yeah, he can stay there for right now. So I'll get back to you. I do recognize this fella. That is the Kenya tree. He's going to go in the little tank. So let's get him out and glue and put him in the tank. The Kenya tree will probably grow pretty large too. We're running out of real estate here, so uh, I think we're going to actually put him down here for now. Let's see if I can glue him on here. And see what happens uh, at some point i probably have to move him he's going to get too close to the torch or the hammer so well let's see what happens uh, i'm almost running out of real estate here i guess uh, i gotta be careful how much i put in but i'll get back to you now this one is fucking all up but that actually looks like some kind of a uh, xenia um, I'll put it in the big tank on its own little island. I'll That's night encrusted with coralline algae, so I think they're gonna go here. I'll get the super glue to grab. There we go. And then we'll see what happens when it opens up. I gotta move that little, it's just been sitting there forever. So we got two, four, six left. I'll get back to you. Next, we definitely got another pally. Uh, and it's a big one. We got to cut the stem off the plug. And I think he is going in the big tank. So let's cut the plug and that's, I'll be back to you. I think he's going down here next to this guy. No. Uh, where should we put him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want him up too high. So, why don't we put him over here to his family? It's going to be the pally world. Where is it? That's my hand. Oh, here it is. It's going to be my pally world. So, yeah. <laughs> So they're gonna grow like crazy here in this corner and up the rocks and whatever. Uh, as you can see, the torch over here is coming out. Oh, is it the hammer? I can't say it before later. I can't see it right now. Okay, on to the next one. This one is gonna be a bit tricky. You see the stem? But I also got a bunch of them on the real side. So they spread to underneath. So uh, we're leaving the stem on this one and finding a spot to put him. I'll be back to you. So he's going to go over here and join his friends over here in Pally World. See if we can get him to stay upright, upright like this. Hold the clock for a little while. There's more underneath on top, but that's what we're going to do. Pally World. So this next guy is a mushroom and he's uncrusted onto two different plugs. So we gotta put two plugs down. So I gotta think about where he, I want him. He's going in the big thing, tank, I think. So hold on. So here he is. I couldn't film it because he was flopping around. So, well, yeah, he's gonna be here in the crevice. Uh, they don't like too much light, so we'll see what he does here. I can always move them. Uh, we got three left. On to the next one. The next one here is a sewer. I uh, can't see what's kind yet, but they'll go in the little tank. So let me get the stem off the plug and we'll put them in. We got two more left. We'll see if the sewers and the Xenia will get along. We'll put them right here for now. Let's 
see what they do. Well, maybe we should get him in the shot, huh? So we'll put him here and see what he does. I got a little bit of algae here. I gotta take it out again. I'm just gonna scrape that off. Hold on, I'll be back to you. Where is you? Yeah, yes. I'll be right back. Okay. There's my hand. Here's where he's going. I know, I don't know why I don't get all of them in the shot sometimes, right away, but it's not easy to glue calls and um, do that placement at the same time. Okay, on to the next two. So this one, I'm not quite sure what is yet. I'm pretty sure it's the same as these. I can't come remember the name right now. But I think it will spread like crazy too, or can. So I gotta make sure I put the right placement. Let me cut, yeah, he got a stem. Let me cut the stem and we're gonna place him in the little tank. Speaking about critter, can you see this critter here? Crawling, we're gonna get him off, hold on. We are gonna put this one right down here. We're gonna see who it is and we can move into something else. Let's see what kind of hitchhiker we have here. Uh, has a hard time focusing. Some sign of some kind of snail or where is he? Yeah, he won't quite focus right now. Um, but yeah, he's definitely moving. I might put him in the little tank over here next to that. It's my uh, pot tank. I don't know if he's good or bad, but most are bad. So, I don't know what he is. It's kind of hard to zoom in on, hold on. Let me just try now something here. Look at that crater. If somebody can tell me what that is. I mean, maybe he's good. Who knows? We'll keep him for a little bit. We have another candidate here. I don't know what kind of call it is yet. So, I don't know. He is going to go and, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Smaller big tank, hold on. I think we're going to put him down on the sand bed until we figure out what he is. I'll get back to you. So this is after Probably half an hour or so. Uh, I got the orange lens on my camera. So, so you can see the calls with the natural color. Starting to come back out again. Uh, I'm pretty sure these, oh, nice orange colors, sewers. Uh, I don't know all the different names of the sewers, but they all have different names, so maybe I'll find out. I'm pretty sure these are sewers too or something, or a little mix of everything. 
I guess we'll see when it comes out. Starting to open up, so then this stunning green pallies. They grow like crazy. They're pretty, but I won't say deadly. <laughs> uh, they're on their own little rock. I might actually move the rock away. See, it's leaning up against my main. They might get their own little island too. Uh, more sewers, I think. They're starting to open up. You got some up here too. Starting to open up. The ladder over here in the corner. Uh, mushroom, another mushroom, look at the color, uh, this weird creature up here, some kind of soft coal, I don't know if it's an Xenia, it might be, and torch, hammer, I don't know the difference, I gotta look it up, I think this is the hammer, with the Apollon heads, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the hammer. So that's what in here for now. Uh, it might get a few crabs in here. And I don't think any fish yet, so. Uh, let's go over and see in the other tank. Oh, by the way, that little critter was a sea slug or something. So it's in the little tank. You got the, whoops. Torch. Got the torch over here. Starting to open up. Fish are hawking the picture. Okay, starting to open up. Uh, uh, yeah. This little guy. I'm not sure yet. I see some come start to come out. Uh, and then we got these. I think they're gonna be, get pretty too when they come out. There's one in my tank. Call them little sea flowers. Of course, I got some pallies too. More pallies. One of the new ones. Um, over here is one. And then of course the bubble tip. I'm most excited to see how it goes with that one. So yeah, this was Brian Hall's calls in Westfield. I highly recommend you go see him. Uh, go contact him on, on uh, uh, what's it called? No, I can't even remember. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Here we are again. <laughs> so if you're in the Western, Massachusetts area, or anywhere in Massachusetts for that matter. A couple hours away, an hour away, whatever. I recommend you go see Ryan Hall, contact him first. You can look him up online on uh, Craigslist. Uh, Western Massachusetts, look up Coles, he'll be there. You can go on the callfarm.com. You can find him there, or you can go on W-I-S-I-W-Y-G, what you see is what you get, dot H-T-M-L. Uh, he got his rules on there. If you want to see the calls in his tanks, you got to wear a mask because of the times. I suggest you wear gloves too. Uh, and But you can set that out with him. Like I said, this was my first curbside pickup. I contacted, contacted him on Craigslist and we talked for a little over text, via text and I said, can you put me back, uh, pack together? And he's like, sure, I'll send you some pictures. And that's how he get you, what you get is, or what you see is what you get. So contact him and get yourself some calls. I only have soft calls for right now. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get some more. I'll let this grow for a little while and see how it goes and I'll contact him again and see what he got. Uh, I think this is it for this Saturday. I'll get back to you and show you some more, a little clip when these, in a couple of days, when all these open up and all happy. 
and we can see what we got. So you all have a nice weekend. If you like this content, press subscribe and like, and remember to stay safe. Uh, I used to be a couch potato. Now I guess I'm a couch patriot. You all have a nice day. Bye.